Greetings, Braveheart. Welcome to Fit and Free, MC Gala. You can call me Aunt Angel if you like. It's getting late. It's early actually, but it feels late in my body. I've been going to bed earlier and earlier. I don't know what that's about. And uh, as usual, I'm here to do some stretching and some strengthening. And I invite you to join me to whatever degree feels good in your body. I like to remind you, there's not one way. Make sure you listen to your own body, follow your own lead. You can use me as prompt or idea person or inspiration or motivation, but make sure you don't do anything that feels too bad in your body or hurts by any means. So all that said, let's do some full body stretching, shall we? I still got the whole house to myself. It's It's been like more than a week now. I'm starting to get spoiled. Starting to uh, get into washing the plants and things. That's a good thing. I've got some winter cleaning going on. Yesterday was the first day of winter. And I also just, whoo, I just got into some, I got into some old files that I hadn't gotten to in a long time and stirred up a lot of old memories and new reflections. And you know how life is where you, where you see things so differently when you look back on them. So I'm having a lot of waves of that, which are a little bit bittersweet. Mm, let's breathe in and just let all that go. Just clearing the mind of all that clutter, letting the arms swing. I'm gonna breathe in again. Breathing in the present moment and just letting it go. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in. Lifting the chest and the eyes to the sky. And then I'm going to bend all the way over for that one. I'm just letting go of whatever no longer serves me. I'm going to do a little Qigong because that feels in order. And I'm going to remove these glasses from my face, because that also feels in order. And just to walk you through what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift the arms, make a circle, and step to the left. Whoosh, just push the energy back, come back to the front, make a circle, whoosh, go the other way to the right. And I'm just, there's no real right or wrong to it, I'm just feeling into that energy. You can try out different things, you can try really whoosh with the, with the legs and the stance, whoosh. Or you can do it nice and just real passively, whoosh. You can add another loop-de-loop -loop at the top if you wanna see how that feels. These are all kind of modified Qigong moves, just moving energy through the body. And again, just listening to the body, really moving and listening, inviting flow. Ah, letting go of all that clutter and stagnation and overthinking. You can just set it down for now. You can pick it back up later if you like. Or you can just leave it alone because there'll be more on the way. That's how stress works, I find. <laughs> of course, sometimes, and not just sometimes, almost always there's little things Wanting to grab our attention, little hooks, little barbs. And if you're like me and you've led a fantastically dramatic and traumatic life, you might have little hooks and barbs and tripwires just all over you. And so it's super important to just smooth those out regularly, let them go. That was uh, the big. The big lesson that I was learning looking back at old videos is, is how much I'm still repeating the same patterns. Let's roll down. How about you? You got any repeating patterns in your life that you notice? <laughs> I think it's a, it's a theme for us humans and for all animals and plants, to be fair. Funguses too, probably. Planets. 
hanging here from the hips. <clears throat> Feeling into that congestion. I'm going to put these glasses all the way down before I drop them. <sighs> Just enjoying a little unwinding of the spine. Shake that out. Walk those hands out. You do Adho Mukha or Downward Facing Dog and press back in the hips, down in those heels. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring the knees down. Adjust the shirt a little bit because I feel it creeping up under the sweater. Let's see if we can. See if we can do the quick adjustment. <laughs> Untuck those toes and I'm going to slide these arms out into Uttana Shishosana or extended puppy pose. Just giving those arms a nice stretch, placing the forehead on the floor. And then I'm going to come back up to all fours and do some cat cow or marjari asana. Pushing up, rounding the spine and then fatil asana. Lifting the chest and lifting the tailbone. I'm gonna do that with the breath. Exhaling on cat or marjari asana. And inhaling on cow. Or fatil asana. Do that a few times. back to neutral. I'm going to sit down and do a little bit of seated work. <clears throat> I'm going to bring these legs out forward and into a wide V. Haven't been doing much of that work. Do a little of that. I can't quite, now that I took my glasses off, I can't see. That's the thing about glasses. Let's check in with where I'm at regards to the frame, since I'm bothering to record that. I like to uh, flap the feet a little bit. You can do this laying down as well, but side to side is nice just to sort of jiggle the bones in the joints, loosen everything up, check in with everything. Again, listening to the body and finding a nice comfortable spot for some forward fold work wherever you know, wherever you're a little bit challenged, but not too challenged. Don't want to be hurting anything. I'm going to start with a side bend over to the left, pressing that opposite hip down. And then letting that hip come up a little bit in order to come all the way to the side. And then to the other side, pressing that hip down on the left, bending to the right. And then letting that hip come up, coming all the way over to the foot or as close to it as comfortable. I'm noticing once again, I got a lot of congestion. So it's a thing. I look, looking back at those videos, I had it then too. Mm hmm. Ah, I mean, my chest and my chin for the floor. I'm going to keep working on that. One of my aspirations, not to give up, even when things are challenging. Just breathing into that fold a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the body and forward fold over this leg. Still pushing that opposite hip down as much as possible. Go ahead and in the forehead for the knee. And 
and coming up, turning the body over the other leg and forward folding that way. Again, pressing it down in that opposite hip and aiming the forehead for the knee. I'm gonna bring those feet forward and actually gonna do a little bit of balance work and maybe some spinal rolls feels in order. Let's check in with those ankles. Just play around with some balance. This is again another thing I encourage you to do often. Balancing on the floor. It's a good way to work the abdomen, but also just getting down onto the floor and back up. Good way to shift your perspective. Keep yourself flexible, keep yourself capable. You can make it more passive by hanging off the legs or the feet. I like to kind of round the spine like this and just relax a little bit there, pulling the shoulders and then oppositely pulling up, or not oppositely, but uh, more actively pulling up in the abdomen, straight back and let go with the hands even and work the abdomen more. You can do some leg lifts. I used to be able to do a lot better and more of those. That was another thing I noticed in my videos. Whew, how much depression and hopelessness is not good for the body. It's all right, I'm getting it back. That's all we can do the best we can. Let's do some spinal rolls. It's about showing up every day the best we can for ourselves, I believe. I know, I'm just lecturing myself. It's true. Some nice spinal rolls, just loosening up the spine. Mm. All right, just gonna come to a seated position and do a little bit of breathing to wind down and just checking in with the body. Having some pains, some fresh pains. Seems like that's the standard. So I'm just gonna invite the body to talk to me a little bit and uh, in the way that the body does by images and feelings and do some breathing. Start with a little jiggling and just bring my awareness into the sits bones, sitting up nice and straight, check in with the alignment of the chin and ears and Shoulders and hips. <sighs> Just focusing my attention warmly right here over the third eye on the forehead, letting go of some stress. Any thoughts that arise, just letting them pass. Try not to let them get their hooks or their barbs in me. Just knowing that everything is temporary. Keeping in mind that the patterns that are bothering me are opportunities for growth and seeing things in a new light. Just as your patterns are that for you. Ah. I don't know if I got much clap snap in these hands tonight, but that's all right. Mm. I thank you for stopping by. It's feeling a little slow and that's all right. It's a good time to remind you again, there's not one way. It can be fast. It can be slow. It can be short. It can be long, but show up for yourself regularly make it a regular part of your routine let yourself know that you care that you're loving yourself that you're gonna show up for your body your body's there for you your whole entire life even if it hurts or it complains or it doesn't understand or it miscommunicates or it misunderstands it's still doing the best it can that's that's you it your body you and your body however you perceive it 
That's my unsolicited advice for the evening, for the day, wherever it is, whatever time it is where you are. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay curious and courageous and fit and free. I'll be seeing you. Peace.